A revolutionary device cuts the risk of stroke and could help some Americans get rid of blood thinning medication for good. Researchers at Riverside Hospital have been testing the watchman for years. Anna Jackson gets answers tonight on how it works and what kind of patient might benefit from it. This object that balloons out of the tube like a parachute is the Watchman. It's made of flexible metal like this. Mary Boyle has one in her heart. Oh, mercy, it's been wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. Mary has atrial fibrillation or irregular heart rhythms. Before the Watchman, she took blood thinning medication to prevent strokes. It's an inconvenience and uh, I didn't like it. Uh, it has to be checked quite frequently to make sure it's in the therapeutic range. It's a very difficult uh, medications for doctors and patients. So Dr. Yakubov suggested implanting a Watchman to replace the medication. The device is implanted in a procedure much like this. This one. A small cut is made in the groin. Doctors run a catheter up to the heart and insert the watchman. Putting the device into the left atrial appendage takes up all the space so that blood, blood can't get in there and form a blood clot. No blood clot means less risk of stroke, and the patient can go home the very next day. The heart eventually heals over the watchman and stays there forever. It requires very few follow up checkups. And I am delighted with it. Clinical trials show 87% of patients with the Watchmen were successful, as opposed to only 60% of patients who take blood thinners. The Watchmen will go before an FDA panel for approval within the next few months. Cabot.